Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See Show up. them it, girl. With a bang, bang. Bunks with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. With a bang, bang. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Gotta do my hair. Put my makeup on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Till I hit the dance floor. Bang. Hit the dance floor. Bang. have our own channel for all always curious good day good day brand new vlog you yeah. also um we went to the diwali um not diwali sorry the pagua dinner we fed the masjid a lot of custard it was a, a nice vlog go back and check it out anyway I did by the post office. All the customers domestically in the States who want some um, um, packages, you know, you know, I'm sorry, merch. Please guys, call me 718-350-9530. WhatsApp me. Once again, 718-350-9530. Anything domestically we can mail out. I got small, medium and large boxes, it's flat rate. The small flat rate thing is 10 if it fits and then 18 for the medium flat rate and I think it's 23 or 24 for the large but I got boxes for small, medium and large. All right, let me go post office. The Fox, get your merch, hats, aprons and t-shirt. Fellas, y'all work from work, don't work from home. Official house husband. Laundry, wow. When you walk up in home, you gotta do all the housework. I just say that because I want to say that. Who vex vex? I just said what you gotta say, right? When you work from home, they get housework for do. However, if you want your custard and your chicken curry and your nice katahari with shrimps, you do housework. By the way, Uncle Tide, Auntie Tide, Uncle Swavitel, Auntie Swavitel, please reach out to the fox. We are the ones who are using your product. We can promote your business. Not a lot of people use Tide in this country. Please reach out to us. Uncle Tide, Auntie Tide once more. Please, the facts which are not using your product, reach out to us, okay? Let me know, call me, please. And for your merch, 718-350-9530. What's up, me once again? 718-350-9530. You got it. In the meantime, the clothes washing between the work last year we're doing right now. The Mali boxes from the um, the post office for shipping. This is a small. The ship small. Any any amount of fits in here. It's like 10, 40 plus tax obviously, and it's a five by eight by eight by one and a half. It's a very small box. See it? You gotta fold it up. You know. Maybe one shirt or an apron is gonna fit in here. Maybe two for like 11 bucks. Then you got the medium. The medium come in two different sizes. It's like 11 by eight and a half by a five and a half and it's 1840. Anything can fit in here. 
for 1840. They got two types, they got this. Medium flat rate, 1840. Also, this is like 11 by 3 by 30. I think the medium is more decent because it can hold like two apron or, you know, because the small is really small. Not even a shirt because it's like, you know, it's money making because they know you wouldn't use this for ten dollars. So guess what? The government said, guess what? They use eighteen for it because you can't even fit a shirt in here. You understand? Then you got the big one. If yeah, I want a lot of stuff, this is twenty four seventy five plus tax to ship, and um, it's a twelve by twelve by six. But yeah, like oh, let me show y'all something. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let's say you get two of this, right? Now two of this here, so this kind of fit in here. Like you're gonna have to fold it up and like mash it up and like drop it in here. I mean, this one by itself, and you gotta like, you know, might as well get the medium box for like 18 bucks, and you just. But you can see, it's, this is weird, and it's just two in here. They're gonna shake up. But yeah, 1840. Cause it's smart, not ten dollars to ship whatever they fit in here. You can barely put the shorts and maybe an eight pound. You can see how to squeeze, you can mash up. You understand? It's money making, but anyways. We got it for you guys. We're us to ship locally for now until we can work on a website. Um, yeah, that's the boxes. And I'll show you guys the boxes so you can take a look at it. Thank you for your support. 718-350-9530. Once again. 718-350-9530. WhatsApp me for your orders. Hats, uh, apron, um, t-shirts. Thank you for your support again. Canada will be coming. We got a list of Canadian. Apparently Canada by which everything I'll be hoping everyone show up. Because we got a, a bunch of orders from the Canadians. Please you guys come. We'll be there Saturday and Sunday. I'll put up the info. Thank you for your support. Thank, thank you to the USA people for the support too. The locals in the Richmond Hill, Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx area. Thank you guys, alright? Let me share the boxes. And then I'll head back to work. And then go do my laundry. Fellas, work from work. Do not work from home. Alright? Again, this is a small, but it's like it's really small, as I said. Maybe one shirt alone, or maybe two the most. Not even a mug can fit, or a hat can even fit in here, you know what I mean? Then you got the medium, you got two sizes of medium. So the smallest 10, 40 plus stacks. And two sizes of medium, one. And this one is two. And then you got the large. So the largest 24 to 75 plus stacks. The medium, which is these two, either or whatever works, is 18, 40. And the small is 10, 40. There you have it. All right. Hey, some of y'all get it really good, you know. Housework in easy, then you gotta be a regular job. But I'm gonna dry some clothes now. I can make it up. Look, babe, get seven or eight pounds, and all these stops. And this one is meal. I can't make it up, you know. Then I get all this here, so God knows what's in here for sheep. Wait, man, for this whole three months, I wear one pounds, and she wear all this. Wow, just saying. I can't make it up. I got to start shower once a week now. I got to start shower once a week. Look, I barely find one short for me and one pants. All this is showing, it's all these pants is showing. You know, I'll clean the two, I'll clean the two um, laundry bags for me. I can't make it up. I just can't. I might not shower, but I see like about 10 bucks today. So let's change my bucks every time, all right? Ain't got for shower, but I'm changing my bucks. Anyways, I do the laundry. Morning, morning. Salam alaikum. I, it's Wednesday morning, 6 or 2 a.m. Heading to the masjid. I literally just, just serviced this car. Got a recall, the light was on. Partner, the light come back on all of a sudden. Tire pressure gone down. I mean, you know, I give up. I give up. Let me go to the masjid. Morning, morning. It's Wednesday morning. Heading to masjid. But y'all just saw, right? I did recently service the car. 
you take a whole four day with the car and still the light come on anyways you guys make sure you check the previous vlog man thank you for your support um the, i think the vlog passed 9,000 views already but yeah the pago re uh, rehearsal dinner we feed the star anyways it's wednesday going masjid early board catches the warm as they as they say i gonna catch some blessing because guess what with all the donkey parading i be doing out of ramadan i need some blessing but it's clean fun donkey parading anyways like a masjid traffic already i know everybody going so early but traffic out here gym day by masjid is park you don't find parking fajr everybody's sleeping i know it's hard though you know but i like come to the morning prayer i feel like when i wake up before the sun you feel good man where is the masjid there going I always admire this dome here, so it's small, it's like a minaret or a dome, but it's really beautiful, man. And the color changes. Anyways, I'm going in. Masjid for Fajr. Masjid got a nice design here, boy. Look at the masjid design here, so. Anyways, I'm heading home now. Good afternoon. Um, actually, it's the second is spring. But guess what? It was freezing cold today, so it's like winter. However, we want to say happy birthday to Jenny from her um, husband Ray. Uh, Jenny's birthday is March 30th, which is March 30th. I'm not sure what day it is, but it's from um, it's from Ray and um, our two boys, two boys and your baby girl. And my boy Asif also, man. Happy birthday to you. His birthday is March 20th. From his wife Nikita. And happy birthday, Nikita, from Asif. Your birthday is March 30th. So, all you March people, happy birthday to you. Happy spring, everyone. Look at the flowers behind us. Yeah. Spring is coming. Yeah, Nikita is spring actually. Is babe, tell who Nikita is so they would know. Oh, Nikita is the creator and the owner of Luna Rosa. The girl who sent me the swimsuit and the cover up and the, the other unmentionables. To all the Aries out there, I know one more person who's an Aries, but big up all the Aries out there. Happy birthday to all the Aries people. It's Aries season already. That's right, Aries yes, season. No Saji. Baby, we're in Aries season right now. Yes, when is Aries season, man? Anyways, let's enjoy this brisk weather. We're going home, place too cold. Are you going home? Look at babe, bye. Babe, where you got it, babe? Guyana goodies. Guyana goodies in key food bag. Yes. Wow. My sister came from Guyana. Mm -hmm. Went for a trip. Yeah. Half sweet face here, bye. Ah, we got sweet things. What are you in there? Don't tell me pepper sauce. Don't tell me pepper sauce. Can't be pepper sauce there in there. I'll show you guys. All right. Got got All right. All right, babe, where you got here, babe? Talk to me. Um, Chicken foot. Chicken okay. foot. Okay. You tell me what this is. Oh, that? Hey, um, Tasha. That's Balam Latcher. There we go. Balam Latcher, but you know, in America, we say Balam Latcher. We got fudge. We got fudge and uh, we got um, aluminum wrap. Fudge. Ooh, God. Smells so good. Pira, what's, pira and fudge. What's in Fine that bag? Tart. Fine tart. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. What I got, though? She brought me some stretcher. To try, stretcher. guys. Who remember this stretcher? What stretcher? No, babe, man, babe, what part no, of no, the no, no. from, man? We did a little well off. We no, no, no. Stretcher. We went to the same school, man. <laughs> guys, remember this? You gotta pull it. That's what you got, stretcher. Okay, stretcher. Okay. What else you got here, babe? Mm. Make a cut of the stretcher. One second. I want to tears this thing, bud. You got food, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I want to taste this. Uh, hold on. Achar. So, she bought the achar. And, the well, let me tell you with the bag, guys. So, mm -hmm. this gal is a professional. Um, my Paco. sister is a professional when it comes to bringing stuff from Guyana. She bought one of those machines with the bags that you seal, where you suck all the air out. And she did this herself and pack it so it's nice and flat in the suitcase. You can freeze it and be easy to bring. Professional actor. Professional packer. 
I want to. I'm gonna try it when I go to Guyana. I want to. Just to see the sauce. You got sauce too. Yo, that was some sour. Mm -hmm. Same. I got some fresh. Hey, same from my same. cousin. Yummy yard. Thanks, Andrew. Put in the bag. Put in the bag. One second. Oh my gosh, you need a coconut choker. Thing right by. Yeah, it freaks a happy. Hey, when you're in small, right? When you go, when you live in Guyana, right? You find being like chocolate and some barrel. Oh, wow, not. Remember wow, not. You got crack one, wow, not, and your whole family got to share it. We are excited for coconut choker <laughs> and stretcher. And I got some fresh snapper. Yeah, that's for me. This Thank you, cousin. This is for me, Because I have a, a friend who don't eat meat, so it's too snapper for her. Me calling her name. Oh. Let's get a bit. Daddy, I bring half suitcase for me. Guava jam. Whoa. And this is special Uber Eats. Guys, my WhatsApp is for the merch only, not for this stuff. Please do not WhatsApp me for this stuff. It's a paper bag fryer, right? So here what happened. Mm -hmm. The bag soak and it rips. I have to cut the camera here now. All right. Attempt to it. All right. Babe, talk to me about this fryer, what do you say? So we got plain without chicken. Um, pepper hot. See the pepper? Proof that it comes from Diane. And she bought it yesterday on the way to the airport, so I never got to freeze. Mm -hmm. So we have to hurry and eat it for you actually spoil it. It's starting to like get that little scent, but it, you know it's not spoiled yet. How does it taste? It's good. But obviously if you're there, bring it fresh. Okay, it's pepper. Alright, so you're gonna go eat the fried rice now. It's good. She can go bead. I mean, hope she sits in and watch this. The guava jam. Mm -hmm, bye. Okay, and a guava jam. Mm -hmm. Really good. And she's sister, or she go watch this vlog. Guava jam. Balam latcher. Balam latcher. In America, it's a balam latcher. And this treacher thing, whatever she get going on here. You know, beer, 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 beer. Once babe updating, she start us over there. I'm gonna tell you about this flower, right? Nine dollar flower, and it's going for two weeks right now, still looking good. Anyways, the um, the fireworks was good. The paper bag fried rice. However, I feel like to me, because I've had it a few different places, it's just the hype of it. It's good, but it's just, it's a hype for me. Anyways, babe made me fish choker salmon. Well, I used the um, pepper sauce from the, um, the Anna pepper sauce from the Chinese place. However, I got it so grim. And um, I feel like eating some um, fried chicken from Krong. And make a combo. I'm not sunny. And um so hungry. Morning, salam alaikum. It's Friday, Jumma Day. You know what I don't get, right? The sacrifices we make in Ramadan month. It's a blessing month for the Muslims for us. Why we don't try to make the same effort out of Ramadan? You know, it's tough, but um, make up to this Jumma. Uh, let's see how the day goes. I'll go to Jumma for sure today. But yeah, that's why this is like a training ground. Um, hopefully, after Ramadan, I can still get up to go, right? Only God knows. Anyways, Masjid I go into. Fajr prayer all the morning. Heading to Masjid. See this right here? Parking galore. Watch what happened, Jemma. Traffic clear, I mean traffic. Parking empty, empty. Watch what happened in Jemma time. So I got invited, right, to go, um, so there's a sign, the senator for um, Queens, 
Joseph Adabo and uh, in collaboration with Lions Club Romy Hitler they're doing the sign this is welcome to little Guyana not on the street but this is in the subway on the A train by Lefferts and um, Liberty the A train so I'm going there to um, you know kind of like showcase that you know it's a big thing for us little Guyana so let me go check it out all right they should have like the mayor's office there and um, a few others um, should be Lions Club, the center, as I said, and a few other um, people should show up. So we go on there now. Now go. A little late. Oh my God, this means so much to us. But I want to thank Senator Adabo, as you heard him say. You know, partners, the community work with elected official, elected official work with everyone else. Um, the Lions Club, the Richmond Hill South Ozone Park Lions Club. Guys, congratulations. Not only the welcome to Little Guyana will welcome millions of visitors or millions of people passing through the subway station up here. But the Lions Club and the center in name will be there to welcome them also. And that's a great thing. Thank you, MTA, for doing that for us. Um, on behalf of myself, this means so much. Be a sign to match the city sign, they should say, welcome to Little Guyana. This is how government works. The resident comes to the elected official. The elected official goes to their friends in the agencies. And things happen. Good things happen for a community. That's how government should work each and every day. And we're witnessing it here today. We're witnessing it here with a sign that's a symbol for us to see and for generations to enjoy. So welcome to Little Guyana. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. God bless. Thanks for sharing your daughter with us. You know, the event was really nice, man. I had to um, rush to come back home because I got work to doing stuff, but um, I didn't take much pictures. But thanks for the invite. Um, it was nice meeting and seeing everybody. Um, well, that's sweet. My phone just got cut off on me, just like that. Just a dry. Anyways, yeah, the event was nice. Hey, Romeo, thank you so much. Um, you know, I got to meet the senator again, but I had to leave, man. Um, you know, I'm gonna go back later on, maybe, and um, take some pictures of the sign alone. But this is nice for the community, especially the Guyanese people. Um, you know, we came a long way. We work hard in Richmond Hill, um, in the area. So it's about time. You know what I mean? We got our name heard. Anyways, I'll go back home and get some work done. But I late, late, late for Juma. They caught up at work, and uh, one of the employees is on vacation, so um, I late. But here happen? If you drive fast and you get a speed camera ticket and you got paid for like thirty dollars, is that blessing? Because when we rushing to go to masjid, so you end up spending thirty dollars on a speeding ticket. Can you want miss the prayer? To so all the religious people out there who are Imam Maulana. What if you rush into the masjid and you got to pay for a speeding ticket now, $30 to $35? Does that considered blessing? Let me know. Anyways, you can see there's no parking. Let me go. I late, buddy. You see all them cap, man. This is so it's them African brothers. Let's show you how this masjid parked. There's no parking. This is the other side of the street, you know. Hold on. No parking. You ever run for collect like blessing? Look, run here, by. I gotta run a little late, man. I'm trotting, I'm running. I can't make it up. Look, at the beginning of the block. This morning when I drove here, so it was empty, empty. Look at the parking there. No parking. 
I cross over the road. See it and no parking. Check it out. I ain't making it up. Hey, you ever hear the guy saying, me park behind God back? Literally park behind God back. So far back I park, but I go into God house right now. Hello, go. I go into God house. I park behind the back, but I go into the house. Can't make it up, busy mass JD. So look, no parking. No parking all the way. No parking. Mass General Ram Park. Full by. All my shit full. If you make space for your brother, Allah will make space for you in his gender. Say Ami. Masjid is over. It was packed. I barely got a spot inside. But um, yes, second um, Jama. Heading back home now to work. So you know. For a party and so, you park far, far, man. You take Uber and so. You don't want to drink and drive or come back home and them thing. But for a masjid, you don't want to park one block away. You complain, you park behind guard back. Only one block, you know. Anyways, I'm going home now, man. But you know what? Yes, it's Ramadan. I do come to Jamma out of Ramadan, but especially in Ramadan, you want to get an extra blessing. And this place is cool outside. Well, I park. Behind guard back, going back for the car now. I go. I don't walk. Now it's 6:17. I then Woodhaven Boulevard. Hey yo, this weather make a sudden change. Anyways, I'm gonna pick up my kids. Then we go in Masjid. Woodhaven Boulevard. Traffic donkey parading. They just call it rush hour. What is rush hour? Where about the rushing going? What are you don't walk, right? It's supposed to relax and take your time when you go home. Where you rushing going, buddy? Anyways, me now rushing to go to the masjid. Why you talking? Good afternoon. I like for joke around a lot. Anyway, back. I wear the same exact shot. I wear to go to the um at the event for the sign, the little guy on the sign. But here what happened? I ain't see the shirt because I had my jacket on and it was cold today. For some reason, it's spring, but it's cold. So I wear back the same shot, man. I got for no. I mean, people at the masjid didn't see me with the shot. Neither did the people at the um, at the event. However, once I'm done with Masjid, I'm gonna go because I didn't get the time to do it today earlier and go to um, left right by the atrium and I'll walk upstairs and I'll show you all the sign and everything. And also, me alone gonna be there because this, this morning was police and you know, police presence and um, elected officials and stuff were there. So, and I had a rush to leave, so I'm gonna back on me alone time. Who knows my right to want to find in the train station and stuff. But I want to show y'all where the sign is exactly so you would have an idea. That caught me here, boy. Shucks. AJ, you know I just call AJ my barber buddy man. That man has been booked up on the weekend. Plus, I ain't really going no way fancy fancy like, you know, so I mean cutting me here. But you know, soon we'll leave. Look size of old man now for truth, boy. Watch the grey there, boy. Even the beard grey. Alright, let me go to the masjid to come my kids. We got jerk chicken with cook up, a char and salad. Uh, yeah, I picked the logo there. I just dropped off my kids them home. But I'm going to show you all the sign. I hope there's no one there taking out picture and everything. I'll show you. As a matter of fact, I'll show you both sign. They one on the street and the one in the subway. Let me make a quick run to check out the sign. They're the famous Liberty Avenue. I never knew they have an elevator here today, you know, because I stuck here um, on this drive actually. But let's show you the elevator here. So let me show you all the elevator. The elevator right here. And then police presence. And this is Liberty and Lefferts Boulevard. And you got a famous sign right here, right? Everybody come take a note picture. And then this is the subway. Let me go up. This is like when the first come America by taking the um, train, the A train. All the bygone, the Koreans are smelling. 
And here you have the sign, Welcome Little Guyana. Right by the A train. Right by the entrance. Welcome to Little Guyana, span sponsored by the Senator Joseph uh, Adabo. Right there, you see it? There's a sign right here. Little Guyana. As soon as you come off the train, welcome Little Guyana. And then you walk down. And right down below, you can see the um, sign. As you walk down, you see it twice. Liberty Avenue, Little Guyana Avenue, right by the A train. Coming soon, we post going to be right here, so coming soon. This is the famous Q112 on Liberty Avenue here by famous bus. This fire truck passing right now. Bus right here, so Liberty Q112. Nino and take the bus by Q112. Hey Parvin, remember this bus here, sir? Back in the um back in the 2000. Your name Carl Parvin. So this is um the Q112 bus. Liberty and uh, Leftford, so right? Let's log log on. No park and I go into this masjid called Al Quran with Sunnah on 125th Street and 133rd Avenue. I think it was a Christian church before, and um, now it's a masjid. Apparently, the people in Barbie 78 village run this masjid. That's what I was told. I don't know how true it is, but let's show you guys. This is it right here Masjid Al Quran was Sunnah, it's a church. But now it's a masjid right here. I love you go ahead. And there you have it, Masjid Al Quran was Sunnah. 125th and 133rd Ave. Beautiful recitation, man. The masjid was very nice. What I like about the masjid is that there's a button in the back, you know, because when Muslims pray, you don't know anyone can, anybody can come in from behind. But one brother, he's actually in the back making sure everything is okay. No one strange walk into the masjid. And also, I like that he keeps all the kids on check. You know, little picnics up on their phone, holla, holla video game. So, um, yeah, he, he makes everything very simple. I like the masjid. Al Quran was Sunnah, 120, 125th and 133rd Avenue. I'll go home now. Typical me, dep on the phone, YouTubing, and they walk two blocks past me, car. And I find parking close, you know, anyways. I find me, car. I'll go home now, for real this time. I'll go. So, we came out to visit Stephen. He's one of our. March. Yes, yes. He's a big Donkey Parade fan right here. Matter of fact, Steven is playing the music right now. DJ right now. Hi, right, Steven. You happy you see the facts? Who you like more, Farad or Lima? <laughs> oh, that's right. You need five for that. Y'all yeah, hear it, right? He likes um, Farad. All right. But well, stay in school, all right? All right more Steven. Donkey Parade. More Donkey afterwards. Hi, right, Steven. Morning, morning. It's um, Saturday. We just left Stephen House. Big, big fan. The man love Donkey Parading. Um, he love um, Tony Cotts by this is Big Sam Juan Guyana. So we came out to visit him. The rain is falling crazy, but guess what I'm today? I guess Babe was never satisfied with me going to DJs. So today... No, I hear it's selling cheaper in Costco. Uh, exactly. She wasn't satisfied, as I said. So we go into Costco in the rain Saturday. Somebody didn't want to come out to bed today. Can't blame me for that. Look at this rain. So imagine rain whole week. I understand the rain is blessings, but you got to pick and choose what you need to do outside when it's raining like this. We're going to Costco, right, Stephen? Behave yourself, you know. Don't jump on the pool table too much, you know. Wait till for our comeback. And by the way. Steven, I know you like me more than I'm Lima, right? I like that answer. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in your weekend. But Lima likes you too. <laughs> I'm going and we're going to uh, Costco to do some shopping. Couple tickets, just a few. 
from BJ's. Now we're in Costco, right? I went to BJ's in the last vlog. Now we're in Costco looking for babe. I can't find babe. She probably by the egg section or by the um, evaporated milk section. Like I look for sure. Rain outside, look. Rain. What's going on here? Two, three inches. Twelve, right? Twelve in the park. So you just use coffee to make um, custard and oil. You like waste money, right? You like waste money. Anyways, how's the price? You like eat stuff, don't you? I don't eat oil. Dark would eat by this shrimp scampi. How much for the um for the um the milk? This twelve in here for thirty something. That's because they have like a three dollar off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uncle BJ, Auntie BJ, if you hey, see this, man. you are robbing me. Come to Costco, the price is better. Auntie Costco, Uncle Costco, we just shop here now. We left BJ's, we don't want BJ's no more. Come to Costco, the milk is cheaper. BJ's, up your game, okay, right, Ben? Yeah. I talk, we, we talk in the facts. I spent $12 for eight milk over there. And $13. For 30, 30. Come on now, man, BJ's. All right, let me go. You know, they buy three dozen eggs for like how much? $8. He still got five dozen egg. Right, babe? Five dozen for like 12 bucks, yo. Uncle BJ's, Auntie BJ's, please step up your game. We in Costco. Costco, if you see this, yeah, eggs cheap. You know what? To the person who gave you this card, this card, the last person who gave you that card, we get into trouble. The person who gave you this card to use, let me tell you what happened. The egg is cheaper by $6, but guess what now? Now the file pan we had bought 15 for 18.97. Guess how much for 15 here, sir? Look, I can't make it up. 13.99. Costco, we using you. Auntie Costco, Uncle Costco, once again, please reach out to us. We can vlog your entire store. BJ's, I'm sorry. No more BJ's. BJ's, mm -mm. you guys lost the facts. I'm speaking the facts right now. Costco more um, cheap, way more cheap too. So we came to get evaporated milk. Babe, show me in this cart here. Where is evaporated milk? Yeah, you can't find it. You can barely see the egg. We get water. We get toilet paper. Bong tea. But oh, babe, now she want um, halal crab legs. You know, it's halal? Is it halal? Hey, babe? Halal crab legs? I don't even know. So we're going to Aberdeen. A lot of blessing. The breeze is donkey parading. But Auntie Bida and Lima is here. We're going to Aberdeen. Match. Well, the breeze is heavy, right? Yeah, it's true. And then the last we're gone. Oh, wow. Ali Kimar blow with it. We're going to Masjid. All right, we're going to Masjid. So this is the inside uh, first floor of Masjid Al Aberdeen. It's not done, but it's, it's pretty big and it's beautiful inside. Everyone is um, trying to get some stuff to break their fast. There's some chana and stuff to break your fast for um, iftar right here. This is the door of the masjid. Looks like the Kaaba um, door in masjid in Mecca. This is from a different angle. Guys, this is the first floor. They got three more floors. For now, the sisters is praying in the second floor. But this is gonna be our store, like a hall for like wedding and you know, a kika, religious function. But it's it's pretty big. It's a very big masjid. Um, they get packed really quick here. But um, time to break my fast. I'll probably take some more clips and show you guys, all right? It's a big masjid, I like it. Very big. To say Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah abundantly. So after Namaz, um, brothers are sharing food. This is the president's um, president of the masjid, my friend Parvin and Nicole Fadla. A very nice masjid, man. Very big. 
Kadam Dom. Pretty big masjid. Today they had um cocoa. But I think that's beef. Maybe even know I taste it. I think it's beef though. Cook up with beef. Good night. Salam alaikum. Brother Farad. Sister Lima. I must say, every masjid we went to, we had a lot of fans. The good thing about the fans is, you know what? And I like that. Times have changed. No one judges us. Come on. You guys know we donkey parade out of Rojamont. We donkey parade now in the masjid praying. But all the fans were like, you know what? They like our show. I'm talking about like imams and stuff here. No joke. They, they want Uncle Sogrim. If ever you see this vlog, whoever this Sogrim man is, please reach out to the fox. Your Sogrim pepper sauce is everywhere. Everybody think we have pepper sauce and dog walking around. Abadiz now, Sogrim, you're the ambassador. Uncle Sogrim, please ship one tree pallet. Let me share it to Allah Masjid. Um, For truth, right? So good, I'm kind of sauce. I know that. I like cook up. Yeah. I'll have it in. Yeah, never mind. I'm going to a pepper sauce by coming. Anyways, watch babe. I just want to say, doesn't babe look pretty in her hijab? Let me just call him Kimar. Where me, where me come from, Kimar. But yeah, she look nice, right? Babe, I think she's... Alu says she should keep it for one month after oh, Roja. God. Okay, after one day. Anyways, guys, I'm hungry. Food was good. Abdin Majid was nice. It's big. It's not done yet, as you guys can see. But um, it was a lot of people. Babe went upstairs. She prayed upstairs. Same. It's not like finished, but um, done. yeah. But um, yes, all the best with the Majid. Elaborate on that. Yeah. Um, if you know, you know. No, yeah. Everybody's got an input on that. Yeah. So I'm not gonna say anything about. Inshallah, it. one day. One day. One day we'll finish. You know, by the grace of Allah. I call it the Van Wyck Masjid. <laughs> since I came to this country, <laughs> stuck for me. Allah forgive me. It's a joke, eh? Since I came to this country, if you know Van Wyck, me grand picnic or barn and so, I me great grand barn, Van Wyck nigga done. Guys, support Abdin Masjid. Let's get it finished. You know, um, hopefully that's done. Hopefully it's gonna get done, but it's looking beautiful. Um, it's a really big masjid. Yeah, I'll be black eye done. Black eye done. Yeah? Black eye by leg done. So they've got to make a roti with bag and choker. With bag and choker. Me, I have some um, bag and that about that from Guyana. It's roasted and everything already, but it's not um, seasoned. So I'm gonna go cut up some stuff and make it for us to eat in the morning with some roti. We want to shout out to Aiden. Aiden is like a big, big fuck fan, you know. He saw me the other day at the masjid and Lima wasn't there. He went, he got his mom, his dad. So they finally, um... He met their family. Yes, yes. So shout out to you, Aiden, and your mom and your dad. And the entire 127 Aberdeen Masjid. Shout out to everybody who saw me and um, also who saw Lima. Um, yes, um, Ramadan continues. You're gonna make a roti. Did say, um, she can make custard too. I was like, I'm sure you can. Who said her? Uh, <laughs> you know why I'm upstairs and I'm at the second floor? Somebody said the truth? <laughs> Me and Kim, we asked that she make the best custard. <laughs> oh my god, face the auntie again. Me and I got upstairs, I'm six. Me and I got them sister section, so me and I got to face the auntie. Anyways, auntie, I know you can make good custard. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Right, let's go make some roti. Making some roti now, right? Let me go, babe. Keep the camera and we go. Alright? She gonna keep it on. And we love to go back roti. See the barrel, eh, babe? Tomorrow. Take care of business, okay? okay. Alright, we go and make roti. I dread doing this, babe. Time for cut up. Why do I get to do all the hard stuff, babe? And you get to do the easy stuff. I'm gonna cry here now. Baby, focus it up, babe. Mm -hmm. I got the onion now. You can see crying here now. I'm gonna cut the onion. That's the proper way to cut the onion. Yeah. I wanna thank, first of all, I wanna thank everybody. Because the onion is burning my eyes. Watch, babe, the babe. Like a boss. I'm not supposed to use a bigger knife, but I like this little knife. Perfect for me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be nice, babe. 
もうやって一週間バック Yeah, you han, you gotta cut in these things, boy. Wow. So, all this you gotta put inside the,、um, the choker. So, all this guys gonna go inside the choker. And you have a little、um, garlic, purple, purple onion, red pepper. Isn't it purple, b a b Okay. And we get a、um, shallot. b a b y you're going out here, sir. This is a little bit of butter、mm -hmm. and a little bit of oil. I'll warm it up and do the garlic in there. Okay, okay. Then throw the garlic. Oh, alright, l e t m e s e e how that goes. This is the proper way to put garlic inside of the, um, the、um, fine pan. Babe, what do you do? You just add all the stuff now. Oh, bam. Wow. Alright. l e t m a k e and b i k e and choker.、Yeah. And what kind of roti you gonna make? I think I'll roti. Okay, nice. Guys, I like a lot of onion. A lot of onion. Hey, what do you like this with? I'll roti or a sada roti? I know, babe. What do you say, Mackin? I think oil. I'm、oh, gonna do some oil roti. Smells good. Nice, we've torn up the stuff there now. Now she's gonna add the oil inside. What kind of butter, babe? It's in the fridge, peep the name. The butter is called in the fridge, peep the name. It's called pure Irish butter, whatever that is. Kerry Gold, unsalted. Watch you going on here, boy. Damn! We're gonna mix up this thing here.、Yeah? Smells good, babe. Use those muscles, use those muscles. You get a blessing, man. r o g e r m o n t Babe and your friend, salt and your Irish butter. I'm gonna get a hand of bite, guys. Hey, what a combo, boy. Wait, I have to tell you guys something. So, the last one of the vlogs, maybe not the last one, the one before that, where I made the butter fish, it's two butter fish. So, I'm pulling the salt and I'm pouring it, and somebody recorded that part where I'm pouring the salt. And then, oh my god, mama, look salt, then she said, she now put plenty salt. Oh god, I think can't. No, guys. This salt, I told you before, this is not a very salty salt, and it's really, really fine. So, when you see me pouring, it might look a lot, but it's very fine. I always, almost. Pour、exactly what I need. Hardly have to go back and put some more because I've been using the salt for over 10 years. So I know exactly how much I need when I'm pouring. It's not a very salty salt and it's very, very fine grain. It's not coarse, it has no iodine inside, so it's not very salty. A s a l t is thousand US dollar. I didn't c a r n the food and I didn't put too much. You got your salt in there, right, n a b e The pressure is on you. Oh, my mama looks salt there. <laughs> Ah, he ray. Blood pressure g o n n go up or something.、Yeah. Never true, never true. That's how the salt it is. It didn't upset me, but I just want to tell you guys it's, it's, it's not a very, like, you guys are like, what you mean, salt and salt? You know, salt. A salt is sugar inside. It's not very salt. Right, maybe I can show you. Can you? However, you know what time it is? Time for some taste and bite. This is the first time baby's back and back and choke on. I'm just joking. But baby, you know what? I'm eating as much as I can because you can eat whole night until like 5 30 in the morning. Oh god, look, so much salt. What's up, yo? Oh god. Auntie Beetle, I just dropped you home. And the salt in this thing. Never mind. It's really good. It's really bad. You pass. I know. Hey guys, make sure you guys go to any grocery store、oh, and get it. Oh, I buy one of the salt I do. This is my preference. Babe, that's your preference. But it's good. Since I met her, she's been using that salt. I used to use.、Um, well, well, yeah, I Brad know. used to use a lot of salt, actually. I, I held up on me to cut down the salt intake. Yeah. So. So, yes. Anyways, b y t h e n choker. Roti time. Roti time for m e c right? I'll roti. I've been cracking with five rows. 
Did we did the did five rows reach out to us? Auntie Five Rose, Uncle Five Rose? I don't even know. Where is You know Uncle Five Rose? Canada. Yeah, they're Canada. They're from Mexico, Cubo. Uncle Five Rose, Auntie Five. Anyways, guys, Babe's making al roti. Talk to me going on here. You have to have water for sure. Uh-huh. What else you think? Bacon powder. Uh-huh. You have to have oil. No. Um, also you have to have lima. Alright, babe. Tell me going on here. How much water you making? I'll do four for now. Okay, I'm making four roti. So baby, how, how, like, how do you know like four roti? We're, we're gonna talk to them. That much flour, now I'm just gonna do like that. I know like that much, that much, that much, that much. Yeah. So that's you have measuring? That's my way. I don't know what's the other people's way, if everybody has, just like eyeball it. So I don't measure anything. If you come on three and a half an hour, it's okay. Uh, there you go, guys. Be able to mathematics. <laughs> so now, how much roti is there? One big one. Can you mix it up? Yeah, I can't uh, one by one. Uh, be making sure roti there. Step two. What's the bit? Baking powder. That's like two teaspoons. Have you hang a teaspoon, too? Come on. So you don't like average, just I, average? I, I've never used spoon to measure. That's because you had spoon in Guyana? That's exactly why. He didn't have spoon. I just average and hope I'm free, so. Well, you hope this fella pay now. Just kidding. Alright. Babe, I like your apron, babe. Thank you. You got any more for sale? Plenty, you guys. Catch your March. Apron, hats, shirts, mugs. What else I think I want to sell you. <laughs> well, I see a measuring cup here, babe. Talk to me about this measuring cup. Measuring cup only for, um, for water. I'm they, not measuring how much water. They use like warm water, lukewarm, medium. Um, actually, like more like room temperature water. Okay. Um, now you're doing the, uh, what do you call it, singing man? You know, I can't no, cook. No, or the loy. No, what do you call it? Need it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got to have muscle for the boy. And it's babe needing a babe needing. I'm short, so I, I can't give it out. So I just have to take the bowl down to the ground and give it good. You wanna you wanna pure hair? Very pure hair, Lord. Yeah, pure hair, you know. Let me know. Guys, get yourself a bottom house, Barbie's girl. Bottom house. Watch that. That's a proper way to knead a roti. And you're short, that's why, right? But look, hey, Barbie's girl. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable give it nice like this. Babe, when you do like a dog bath and house and so? I have dog bath and house and Oh wow, look at that boy. And I just, like while I'm need, when I was kneading it, I just did the flour. Mm -hmm. Dip my hand in the oil. Just like, keep doing it like that. Wow, I know your mouth's strong, but look at your hand strong too. Try it. Watch that boy. Yeah, babe, show them who is boss. Show them there, make sure that roti swell up, you know, when you're done. Well, this is the process to make it swell. Yo, guys, I appreciate the roti makers on <laughs> in the roti shop. You know all them I'm auntie. holding a mixer. Never mind, don't appreciate them. They have mixer. I appreciate this house roti because you got to use your hand. Good. All right, there you go. They make an extra roti there, yeah, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a babe size, small size. So we got five. Five roti, nice. What step is this? Yeah, hey, you know, like what it's doing is when they put the oil in, so you gotta cut the thing a certain way or something, right? Oh my god, you're rushing the brush. Like, calm down. You're acting as you're making the roti. Oh, roti. I like roti. I like roti. Yeah. Watch it, y'all. Busy bailing roti. And a brown too. Yo. Check oh, it so I'll see you. Get the pair up. Hey, yes, see Guyana President went to um Guyana President went to the market in one of his life and he confused Bam Lacha with Jalebi. Prezo, somebody if y'all know here finally, please Prezo, this is Balam Latcher. And then you get Jalebi. I know you confuse the thing, but listen, this is Balam Lacha from Barbies. This is so it's salsive from Barbies. We don't call it chicken food. And it's Prezzo. Yeah, I talk Prezzo. Prezzo, but I'm not sure, right? Make sure you follow the thing, Prezzo. 
tell your family, you know, you, you relax and everything, because you know, we human beings, you have a rough day, you go home, you throw back with your, your wife and your kids, just put three on them, and for all I was curious, you can see all about Guyana, all about America and everything, you understand? Look, Guyanese girl in America, come over this country, thank you, still building roti for a roti in the morning. Watch what she doing at the wall. Watch your magic there, boy. It's like a cone, you know, a cone, like, you know. I, I think I like that, that's my favorite part. That's the guy who's not doing it. It just looks cool. Wait, my sauce there, boy. Where, <laughs> boy? Hey, me and Kiwa, this is boy, you a boss. And we made this countertop specially for that. We're gonna wake up, I think, chalky, right? Uh huh. Yeah, we have no chalky here. But that's the belle and we don't have a chow kai. They bell in by what's there? Next thing I should put one lax in with a bell. <laughs> this is why it's called oil roti, guys. Forget all what you're doing, like kneading and all that, that, that does not call for. This is why it's called oil roti. Everything is called for. Babe, I don't think nice there, by. Babe, what are you doing? I'm poking it. Why? Oh, well, we see people do this, so I don't do it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what do people do? People um, take a roti and slap up on a window. Do it right now, please. You never see though. <laughs> you see people do them, so you do them. <laughs> Guys, which people you see, babe? Can't get calm name. I can't get their name. Auntie Bira? <laughs> Felicia? Wow. People do them, watch you, boy. This is my favorite part. Like, I never get that. <laughs> Not that I try, but. Whoa. It's like a cone, boy. Watch your girl. Hey, watch that, boy. Hey. Barbie's girl, boy. Hey. I, I, I'm talking about not West Coast Barbies, you know. East Coast Barbies. Anything from Rosa all the way to Skeleton, right here, so. Upset people <laughs> early morning or late night time. I did girls from like Rosal go up to Amsterdam, <laughs> West Coast, West Bank, like Myconi. I never like said that. I just, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are joking, yeah? I've been making sure roti there. All right, guys, here we are. I thought babe gonna make this roti right now, but um, she need the, um, the dough, the flour, the, the roti. I'm going to wake up morning early. Hey. Hot, hot roti for keep rosy, are you complaining? Baby, hey, how much blessing you going to get? Aww. Plenty blessing, babe. Oh, wow. Even the angels going to like you. Mm -mm. I'm look at them guys. Come on, guys. Barbie's girl roti. Watch it, man. Watch. Me don't watch it. Make the roti. Me don't watch this all day. No. Babe, babe. No, no, no. Babe, I'm serious. Yeah, I get Richard for singing in the song, Barbie's girl now. Mm. Richard, if you see this, Tony Cuts, y'all friends with Richard. Vicardi, you guys are my boys. Tony, y'all let make a song or something. He has a song. I know, I know. Then get it to me. All right, there you go. Roti morning early. Hot up roti. It's better you're packing it away for the morning now. No, I'm packing away for Sunday. Because we're not going to eat all five. So I'll just put it in some wax paper. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. yeah, no. Already, I'm just going to take it out a little bit before time. Yeah. So, me, I already know I eat in Sunday. Roti. Eating it until you're done. Alright. Alright. Until morning, right, babe? Morning time, that's it. Morning, babe. So, I'm like, oh, babe never went to bed. <laughs> babe slept right here standing up. It's now 5 or 8. Get up to make fast, right, man? Yeah. Just reminding Guyana when you used to be a little girl, you wake up and you gotta be the routine so far. I didn't do that. Okay. I'll be making sure roti. Right, babe. One roti done there. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Trinity Light, Train City, uh, Sings Roti Shop, Sibyl's Village Hut. You guys, if you need a roti maker, right here, please reach out to Lima. 
He's one of the best road team makers in the business. Except for the um yeah that part, but you know, roti in the making. Maybe he's a pro at this bit. All the new roti shops is gonna be open up in Long Island. If you guys need, we're close. We're not um from Richmond Hill, we can be from um Queens Village area. So please be close by. I'm Shami Catering. If you need me to make roti, Lima's right here to help you out. Please. <laughs> We're making roti. It is not easy work. Guys, respect the roti makers. Get one mug. One mug? Hold on. Hold on. You sure? I think it should be. You done? Nice. Babe came through. Barbies, Baigan, Choker, Sugram Pepper. Roti. I'm watching the cricket here. Gonna eat. They're busy eating over there. Real good bag and choker and roti bag. Um, many rotis, but babe doesn't really cook roti that often because you know to go make one roti to roti, but she made it this morning for me from last night. Really good. Big ass tank MTO. I brave by. Anyways, look parking galore here by. I'm going to the masjid. 5:40 a.m. I get no gas in the car, boy. But I'm going masjid. A rough man, masjid by bright and early. Sunday morning, um, six. What is it now? What six fifteen a.m. Masjid done by Fajir. Anyways, I'm going home now. Take a little ten. I want to take a five. I want to take a ten. Wake up back. I go to the mall. Be probably sleeping. All right. If you're curious, me now coming up next. I go. Home. Morning, Sunday morning, baby. What you gonna hit? Barrel empty, boy. They bake up. She started to throw all the clothes what she get. The, all the bags. And um, we can't eat, we send the iron board to bed. Not for truth. I help bake for them up all the clothes here, so. So the barrel is in the making now. Be busy. Look what we're doing here, so. So we got these bags, right? You guys know these suction bags here. You can see me, it's with you, but it's right. That's the one I'm looking for. So we're packing all these like in here, and um, then we take the vacuum suction to put in the bottom. The bottom. All right, that we doing right now. It's working. Yeah, it's working. The bag, yeah. it here, yeah. There was a pro at barrel packing. Sunday afternoon, babe said she came into the mall. She buying something. We buying for me. So, shout out to Dr. Hardy if you watch this. I'm going to look for the trophy. The ICC 2024 World Cup trophy is in the mall. I want a picture and I walk with the guy and a flag to take out the picture. And I'm uh, gonna go shopping in the meantime. But yo, babe, the mall is packed today, boy. I'm about to get back. Economy booming. I'm about to get back pay or something. Tax season, tax season. All right, you go to the mall. We're gonna enter the mall, but look at this parking lot. No parking. Hi, right, babe? No parking. I'm going into the mall. The mall look empty though. Babe went to Forever 21, but I'm trying to find this trophy. I was stole this trophy there in this mall. But I can't find the trophy. I gotta ask somebody now. I gotta ask somebody. Mall parked up. Here what happened, right? The trophy moves. So you know like when you're upset, you're going to go shopping. I buy four hoodie here, so. But babe, this story is so you're missing the sign, so. Zara 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 Zara
if you see donkey parade. It's more so females than males. Bear, wait, 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 yeah, but the mall, the, the trophy is not here no more. ICC World Cup. I'm a huge fan. If ever you guys see this, I know somebody from India watch this channel. Please, I want a picture with the ICC Cup. I came to the mall, it's not here. Baby, drop the bed. They drop something. See that? Babe, drop something. We shopping, we shopping. Yo, babe, spending the most money. What's what going on here, babe? Baby is at Zara. Baby, buy the bear. A dress. What kind of dress? A regular dress. For Eid? Because I know in here, I know Eid dress. They have actually. They have Eid dress in there? Yeah. Uh, we at Zara here. We came back home from the mall. Yo, i sorry there's no trophy. Dr. Hardy, I know you watched the vlog. Yes, they told me that the trophies moved from uh, Roosevelt Field Mall to the Empire State Building. Um, babe, for some reason, babe, you went to Zara, right? Yeah. yeah. I just bought four hoodies. Because. For some reason. No, I mean, like, I bought four hoodies because um, I was sad. You know when you're sad and you're depressed? You're just going to shop and spray. Right here, so. She mad and she had buy stuff. But, um. Guys, um. Thank you for watching the vlog. You guys saw, um. Thank you. We went to the post office for our merch is out there. Please WhatsApp me 718-350-9530. Um what else we did, babe? You make roti, bike and choker. Uh the new sign on Liberty by the Atrium and Lefferts, man. Welcome to Little Guyana. We did that. Um, um we packed the barrel. Finally it's about to um head off. Head off to Guyana. Get some more stuff to put inside, but that's Minor things. The major stuff is done. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. To the Canadians who reach out to me, that's Ramadan. So we put we had did a vlog only like two days ago. So we try to um give you guys time to watch. I know you guys want vlog every minute. You know we, we can't every minute. We could put a live camera here if you guys want. Yeah, we could do that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Canada. Um, to answer a lot of people Canada question. Um. We're gonna have enough pepper sauce coming by the whole truck load. Cause I know you guys are reaching out to me to pre-order the pepper sauce. We're gonna have enough. Please come to the meet and greet, man. Um, uh, April 27th and 28th, we're gonna be at Radhika, Caribbean lime and Caribbean flavors. Um, talking about pepper sauce, um, I want to let you guys know. Pepper sauce is now in Ocala. You know a lot of Guyanese live in Ocala. Yes. You know, some of us call it Slow Cala, Ocala. If you're not living there and you're watching and they call me Auntie Emoti Chachi or somebody live there, let them know. Yes. They can go get their sugar and pepper sauce. What else is there for sugar? We got sugar and uh, coconut milk and coconut oil in bravo in ocala baby let me get the address um yeah actually the address um and you go meet the um the managers there they know about sugar and pepper actually, sauce we'll put a clip in yes to give you the information yeah but what's the address i don't have the address uh, i sent you the address babe yeah. i never did okay i never did i never did so we'll put a clip in right after yes, here yes. now and you guys watch it and uh the address is on there so come out and get your sugar and products Thank you to Guyana Product, um, Vera, Estelle, James. We did it again. Sugar is now in um, Ocala. Right after this, watch the clip. You're going to see the managers on there. Please go and support Sugar and Pepper Sauce. Um, thank you so much for watching. Are they liking the bomb? Thank you. Hit the like button. Thank you guys for sticking with us through this Ramadan. All right. As you can see, as the day go on, our energy you know, goes yeah. down. What it is, what it is. You're going to Masjid now. Yeah. Thank you guys, all right? Thank you. Bye. Here with Jose and Vera. Jose was the store manager for Bravo, and Vera is with Kayana Products. Hi, how are you? My name is Jose from uh, Bravo Supermarket, Ocala, located at 8585 Southwest, um, Highway 200 here in Ocala, Florida. Uh, we've only uh, been here for a year and now we are very excited um, to announce that Sogram uh, product line is here with us uh, here in Ocala. The best, nothing but the best here 
in Ocala. Thank you. That is why it's important that as Guyanese, we make decisions based on the fact. Thank you. Good evening. And remember, we have to stick to the facts. Fast life, but I see it in slow. Oh no, and you see my lifestyle, I got G's in the tub. See many people they outside where they feed man's obo. Oh no, I me a stand the defender like Joseph Yobo. My girl say she want Netflix and chill, so I just take it if I want it. If you fall in love, clearly certain. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping. Can you see the pool? I'm not catching. I'm not faking this, no fugazi You see these feelings, I'm not catching I'm a quest and feed, I just want it Happiness, yeah, yeah If I broke, now my business, yeah, yeah I'ma show you, you go right, yeah, yeah Fall out care for the night, yeah, yeah Happiness, yeah, yeah If I broke, now my business, yeah, yeah I'ma show you, you go right, yeah, yeah all I care for the night Alright then, girl, I tell me say she want the baddies and the big heads So me make she get the style and the finish Man a big baller, you know this and your skimmage She say peace like a bunny, girl, them love the image Happiness, girl, your body bless, girl, me Love you to the air, but me got the next You know say me a top player, hard the ref She know the killer run the business So baby, slow down I make your little waistline go around Swag up on the back, cut up with buy more round She know she can't take bad man for no clown Me money pass you if you're not careful, finesse You know, send me a must-net Now you can let me go Hi guys, guess what? The merch is here, we got the cups We got the black and black hat We got the black and white hat We got shirts, we got small, medium, large, extra large A few 2XL Check it, the apron out We got apron, two plus pockets Adjustable, adjustable neck So, you know, you can do your thing, like, pull up 
and the shirt is front and back with the logo. Um, limited amount when you buy the stuff, you get your free um, wristband. Really quick, the um, hats is 20 bucks, the apron is 20 bucks, the mug is uh, 12 bucks. How about the t-shirts? The t-shirts are 25 and um, remember shipping is not included, so once you give us your address, then we'll let you know what shipping is. You guys want to reach us, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube. We Please. appreciate the love. We, we're thanking you in advance for the support. So just support us. Thank you. Thank you.